All right, welcome back, everybody. Mr. Poignier here, and by popular demand, I will be reading out the last of the creatures. This is going to be all the creatures that are not special one-time only or limited time only scans. So hopefully by going through here, it'll jog your memory and you'll be able to figure out what those last couple of scans that you might be missing are. This is uh, a little change of venue from the last time. That Metroid Prime boss fight music was kind of getting my anxiety up. So let's just go for a nice relaxing view through the old Pokedex and see what we've got. Mega Turret. Perimeter defense turret reinforced with energy shielding. Frustrated with inferior armor plating on standard defense turrets, the Space Pirates added energy shielding to a modified heavy cannon. The new shielding and increased beam strength makes the Mega Turret an efficient point defense weapon. Grisby Subvolcanic Carrion Feeder. Carapace can be breached by missiles. The Grisby's carapace has been fused together by superheated air. This barrier stands up to everything but concussive blasts. Its intelligence is limited to instinctive scavenging patterns. Zoomer. Anchors itself to walls and other surfaces. Avoid contact with spikes. A basic nerve center located directly above the zoomer's mandibles detects nutrients. Sharp spines protect it from casual predators, but the lack of a reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. Plated Parasite. Hardy member of the Parasite family, invulnerable to most weaponry. A cousin to the Parasite, these creatures are known for their amazing resilience. Field studies suggest a weakness to Morph Ball delivered weapon systems. Pulse Bamboo. Life form of raw energy, periodically releases explosive segments from its body. Pulse Bamboos are energy beings, invulnerable to most known weapons. Electrical energy can harm them, however. They lack any intelligence beyond an instinctive attraction to other charged energy sources. Pulse Bamboos produce energy constantly. All excess energy is shed regardless of who or what may be nearby. Ice Shriek Bat is limited time. Parasite Queen is limited time. Scarab. Exploding parasites that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Scarabs think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of their swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block its progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls. Embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. Aqua Reaper. Powerful aquatic tentacle. Part of a submerged organism. Similar in nature to the surface-based reaper vine, the Aqua Reaper has adapted to a liquid environment. It shares the poor vision of its rock-dwelling cousin, relying on a crude sonar sense to seek prey. Unhindered by water, the Aqua Reaper has considerable speed and strength. Triclops. Hard-shelled creature with powerful jaws. The Triclops is a hunter-gatherer. It collects small creatures and bits of foodstuff, then deposits them elsewhere for later consumption. The hard tripartite mandibles it uses to move earth and rock are quite strong and difficult to escape once ensnared. Puffer. Unstable gas-filled organism. Will rupture on contact. Puffers fill their bodies with lethal metaviparium gas and float about in search of food. If ruptured, the gas within the puffer is violently released. Despite their fragile bodies, puffers are aggressive hunters. The gas cloud they release upon death is often fatal to the creature that brings them down as well. Glider. Docile, airborne creatures with unusual magnetic properties. Gliders live a relatively peaceful existence. They have a magnetic signature attuned to the common grapple beam technology. The sport of glider riding involves using a grapple to attach to a glider, then staying on it as long as possible. Auto turret. Use missiles to break outer casing. Gel zap. Aquatic predator made of electrically bound skeletal halves. The gel zap's brain is located in the upper half of its body, while the heart and digestive tract occupy the lower half. Linked only by electrical impulses, the two halves somehow function effectively enough to launch the gel zap to the top of Talon 4's aquatic food chain. Beetle. Burrowing insect with a resilient carapace, extremely aggressive. Insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds. Above ground, beetles can cover short distances rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. Tangleweed. Plant life with basic sentience, retracts into the ground if threatened. Tangleweeds are the only dangerous to small organisms. They are covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential meals. Tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more to hinder more than hinder large life forms. Flying Pirate. 
Pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. Flying pirates are extremely agile in the air, but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. While missiles are extremely potent, their jetpacks can be even more so. If the pack fails, they will make a suicide strike. Hive Mecha, that's one time. War Wasp. Airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger, capable of shearing steel. The War Wasp rarely strays far from its hive unless it is pursuing an immediate threat. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing its enemy with the stinger extended. Fast working toxins from that stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. Blood Flower. Able to eject toxic spores, toxins are poisonous even to the blood flower itself. Three mouth nodules protrude from the stalk beneath the flower, each with a rudimentary brain cluster and the ability to spew toxic fumes at anything within a 5 meter radius. The spores ejected from the stigma at the center of the flower are sufficient to kill this creature if they explode in its vicinity. Ice Beetle Burrowing insect with an ice-reinforced carapace, averse to heat. This member of the beetle family has adapted to life in sub-zero temperatures in the Fendrana Drifts, growing a thick ice shell over its entire body. The ice is extremely resilient, providing the ice beetle with extra protection and augmented digging abilities. Reaper Vine Powerful rock-dwelling tentacle. A single eye upon the reaper vine keeps a constant vigil, but its vision is limited to 10 meters. A scythe-like appendage on its tip is home to lethal sharpness. The reaper vine will swing this blade wildly at anything that enters its zone of protection. Aquadrone we had already. Ice Trooper. Space Pirate armed with Ice Beam technology. Space Pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the Ice Beam. A flaw in the design makes these pirates vulnerable to their own beam weapon system. These weapons are inferior to your Chozo designed originals, but still quite potent. Sap Sack. Chemical reaction within sap produces violent explosion when agitated. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only brave or ingenious creatures dare to devour it. Flicker Map. Scavenger with optical camouflaging that renders it invisible to the naked eye. Flicker bats are deceptive creatures. The only way to track them reliably is with X-ray imaging. They fly ceaselessly, hunting insects and other small prey that float on the air currents. Flicker bats tend to fly in cyclical hunting patterns using primitive sonar to navigate. Wave Trooper. Space Pirate armed with wave beam technology. Space Pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the wave beam. A flaw in the design makes these pirates vulnerable to their own beam weapon system. These weapons are inferior to your Chozo designed originals, but still quite potent. Sentry Drone. Well armed and armored security mecha. Sentry drones have limited intelligence, but do their assigned tasks well. Being machines, they are susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted, drones initiate a security lockdown, then attempt to neutralize their intruder. Their electronic warfare suit can scramble visor technology as well. Burrower. Tunneling Insect Predator. The burrower is similar to the beetle, though it prefers to spend more time underground. It seeks seismic disturbances, then surfaces to attack. It has enough cunning to realize when something is too large for it to handle. Beyond that, it is fairly ignorant. What it lacks in brains, it makes up for with aggression. Plasmite. Small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attracted to sources of heat, thriving on the energy present there. They emit light when hunting and will expel small bursts of thermal energy when threatened. Barbed War Wasp and Flagra we already had. Scatter Bamboo. Pulsing tendrils of energy extend from the creature's body. Like all bamboos, these creatures can only be harmed by electrical energy. Proximity to these life forms may result in electrical visor interference. It is possible to avoid engaging scatter bamboos by rolling into the morph ball and slipping between the rotating energy streams. Space Pirate. Sentient aggressor species well trained in weapon and melee combat. Space pirates wield galvanic accelerator cannons and forearm mounted sides in combat. This species seeks to become the dominant force in the galaxy, and their technology may help them realize this goal. Ruthless and amoral, the pirates care little for the cost of their ambition, only the results matter, and they take these very seriously. 
Parasite we already had. Talon Crab. Crustacean native of Talon 4. Hardshelled swarm life form. Once harvested for food, exposure to Phazon has seen the practice diminish. Creatures are timid and harmless alone, but can be a problem when traveling in swarms. Blast Cap. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic fungal cap may explode if agitated. The poisonous flesh of the blast cap helps keep it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Aquasac will burst when subjected to impact or trauma. Believed to be in the same family as the sap sac, this creature, this plant has similar features. It will burst when exposed to force. This protective response keeps most creatures from feeding on it. Lumengek. Phazon Charged Reptiles Natives of Talon 4, the Lumen Geks travel in swarms to increase their odds of survival. They absorb and radiate Phazon energy, making these swarms a threat. Incinerator Drone we already had. Ion Immobile organisms entirely composed of ocular tissue. Capable of launching sustained energy beams when active, the Ion is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. Fission Metroid Metroid with the ability to split into two forms. The Fission Metroid is a mutant, capable of splitting in two. This split endows the new creature with invulnerability to most weaponry. This effect is unstable, resulting in weakness to a type of weapon fire. The vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic nature of Phazon mutation. Oculus, wall crawler that generates electrical pulses. The Oculus exposes its single eye when active. The electrical field that covers it is enough to deter most predators. If the oculus detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it retracts into its impermeable shell. Meta Ridley, we already had. Plasma Trooper. Space pirate armed with plasma beam technology. Space pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the plasma beam. A flaw in the design makes these pirates vulnerable to their own beam weapon system. These weapons are inferior to your Chozo designed originals, but still quite potent. Aqua Pirate we already had. Baby Shegoth. Glacier Predator, Ice Shell protects vulnerable dorsal areas. Young Shegoths grow a resilient shell of ice on their backs, which serves to protect a layer of vulnerable flesh, with this being their only weak point. Baby Shegoths will turn quickly in order to not allow predators the opportunity to strike at their backs. Powerful hunters, they fire bursts of ultra-cold gas as poten at potential prey, then feast on their frozen victim. Seedling Plant-based ground feeder. Dorsal spines can be ejected in self-defense. Plated beetle Well-armored burrowing insect, vulnerable only in the rear abdomen. Creature's thick cranial plating can repel frontal attacks. This gives it an advantage in combat, allowing it to make ramming attacks. Only surfacing when it detects vibrations above, it then maneuvers itself so as to always face its rival, keeping its exposed abdomen protected. Shegoth, Supreme Predator of the Fendrana Drifts. Shegoths are invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on their back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. Shegoths have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. Soft underbelly of a Shegoth is susceptible to concussive blasts. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their targets. They are also fond of ramming and trampling their hapless prey. Stone Toad preys on creatures smaller than itself, vulnerable only from within. A Stone Toad is able to remain still for days. It preys upon creatures smaller than itself, inhaling them whole. Anything it finds undigestible, it regurgitates. Stone Toads use their tusks as a last resort in combat. Metroid Energy-based parasitic predator The dominant species of planet SR388, Metroids can suck the life force out of living things. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake an attached Metroid is to enter Morph Ball mode and lay a bomb. Venom Weed Poisonous plant that retracts into the ground if threatened. Venom weeds evolved to thrive on, in the habitats of large organisms. They lure prey with brightly colored leaves, then detain it with tiny barbs that deliver a powerful toxin. Venom weeds rapidly decompose anything that comes in their midst. Phazon Elite we already had. 
This is uh, one of the Metroid Prime forms. Ice Burrower we already had. Flogger Tentacle we already had. Elite Pirate we already had. Omega Pirate we already had. And now Puddle Spore. Sentient Floating Larva Mollusk protected by an impenetrable shell. A Puddle Spore opens when approached, attempting to imitate, intimidate with its size. When open, direct fire to its mantle causes it to flip into a defensive position. If it can slam shut, it ejects a spread of harmless, harmful energy globules. Chozo Ghost. Spectral Entity. Bioelectric field invulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with x-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of Phazon in the Talon 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religious sites, where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. Thardis we already had. Shriek Bat. Territorial Ceiling Dweller. Body temperature peaks at 121 degrees centigrade. Shriek Bats have high internal temperature, making them easy to spot with thermal imaging. They roost on cave ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. Hunter Metroid. Adolescent Metroid. Energy Siphon Tentacle increases its threat level. As Metroids develop, they become more efficient predators. An energy draining tentacle allows them to attack at a distance. Quick to anger, Hunter Metroid will charge troublesome prey in an attempt to ram them into submission. Cold-based attacks are still quite effective against these creatures. Magmore. Fire-breathing serpent that dwells in lava. Magmores prefer extreme heat zones and are susceptible to frigid attack forms. Sightless, they navigate the lava currents using their sonar receptors. Magmores have a keen sense of smell, enabling them to pinpoint targets with startling accuracy. Hive. Primary war wasp dwelling, only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. War wasps build their homes over existing crevices, using whatever materials are close at hand. They carry building fragments back to construction sites with their forelegs and give them into place with adhesives secreted from their abdomens. This is the other Metroid Prime form. Shadow Pirate. Pirate forces trained and equipped for stealth operations. A select group of space pirates have access to sophisticated cloaking technology. This gear drains high levels of power, however, forcing them to rely solely on melee weapons in battle. Use enhanced detection gear when fighting these units. Grimoire Wasp we already had. Ice Parasite we also already had. Gemer. Wall Crawling Mollusk with Retractable Spikes. The Gemer is an evolutionary offsuit of the Zoomer family. When threatened, it extends lethal spikes and retracts its head deep into its armored carapace. Crystallite. Territorial Cold Weather Scavenger. The shell of a crystallite reflects beam weapons and can only be cracked by a concussive blast. They hang upside down in an ice cave during their larval stage. Moisture runs off its body and forms the hard ice shell, which the crystallite retains for the rest of its life. Plated puffer we already had. Power Trooper. Space pirate armed with power beam technology. Space pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the power beam. A flaw in the design makes these pirates vulnerable to their own beam weapon system. These weapons are inferior to your chosen designed originals, but still quite potent. And that is all of the remaining enemies. Hope you had an awesome time. Miser Poignet out.